Wednesday, April 18th, 2012. This morning we woke up some with some rain, but that made clear so some sunshine this afternoon. But what will your Visha weekend look like and what will next weekend look so like? Stay tuned as our last edition of Size Eyes on the Skies for this year continues. It's Wednesday night on ISU TV. Broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television show brings you the weather around the country, in Iowa, Ames, and beyond. The Iowa State Meteorology Department's team of forecasters keeps you ahead of the next weather system. Size Eyes on the Skies starts now. Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I am joined by meteorologist Tanasi Talios. Hey, Tanasi, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing, Zach? Oh, going pretty well. Sort of under the weather this week. Sort of bad week to get it's, it's, uh, a cold, <laughs> during, especially during Visha week. But I know it's been going around campus. But with this nicer weather, hopefully, you know, our sicknesses will start to fade out. And I know today's weather was much enjoyable. I know you were. Yeah, it was fantastic weather. I was in. A t-shirt and shorts and sandals and just walking around felt yeah. like a nice, really nice day. Yeah, the humidity was sort of up there today and um, made it sort of somewhat sticky. And then, but you know, we woke up to some thunder this morning. I know a lot of us were talking about how. Yeah, I woke up to some thunder this yeah, morning. It was, I think it was about five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was. I was and kind it, of surprised. Yeah, it was sort of nice too. It was sort of a nice to hear some rolls of thunder and then the rain. It sort of sounded like a smooth alarm clock going off and waking you up but yep, it's always really smooth th yeah th thunderstorm th th but there is that chance of maybe some rain tomorrow maybe a few but i know nate will have some more coming up in his weather segment but today's weather was key but for now we're going to send it over to nate and talk to nate and nate how did you enjoy today oh I, it was a fantastic day i love this weather and you mentioned the rain this morning yeah. i also got woke up this morning yep. some pretty good cracks of thunder there but yeah. We all enjoy the rain. We need, kind of needed some a little bit more. We've been really dry, but after these recent storms, um, we've really moistened things up here. We're not so dry. Um, nice weather today. That's really going to change going into tomorrow, as we still will have mild chance. If we can look at the day planner for tomorrow and going to the nighttime hours here, there it is. Um, we're going to have some storms and rain moving in throughout the day tomorrow. Midnight temperature of about 60 degrees. Our low will be around 55, about 7 in the morning, and then we'll slowly rise through the mid-50s at 8 a.m., and then going to about 65 degrees in the afternoon. Again, scattered storms will be rolling through. Maybe an isolated, stronger storm or two, but nothing widespread at all. Yeah, I, I know that there's a pretty low risk for severe yes. weather tomorrow, but yeah, it, possibly umbrella weather tomorrow. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you very much, Nate. We're going to send it to our first breaks and continue with us after the break as Sanasi will give his national forecast. Stay tuned at Size Eyes on the Skies continues. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. We're going to kick it over to Sanasi for your national weather. Sanasi. Hi, this is meteorologist Sanasi Uh The day planner. Oh, er. The day planner for tomorrow would be 60 degrees at midnight, uh, 56 at 8 o'clock in the morning, and 63 at 3 p.m. with a chance of rain throughout the day. We're going to have a cold front moving on through. All right, here's a current uh, temperature map in the United States. We have 40s up in Minnesota, uh, 50s and 60s in the upper Midwest, and then 80s in Texas and Florida. Uh, here's the current surface map. We have a uh, Nice uh, cold front about to come through in our neck of the woods. We have another low pressure system here in the Four Corners region. We have a high pressure in the Seattle uh, East or West Coast area, and then we have another front over by the Carolinas. Uh, we have this is the front that's going to give us a chance of rain tomorrow, and then there's a kind of a trough right there. Here's our six to ten day temperatures. Um, we're going to have above average temperature above average temperatures in most of the United States, as you can see, uh, most of the central Great Plains, our area, and then we have a chance for cooler weather over here in uh, California area and back on the East Coast. Here's our six to 10 day temp er, precipitation outlook. And once again, we're gonna have above average precipitation in the central part of the country. And then we're gonna have uh, wetter conditions over on the coast. Now back to you, Zach. 
thank you very much, Slappy. We're going to send it to another <laughs> break, but stay tuned after the break with Nathan Quiet and your Iowa forecast. Stay tuned as Side Side on the Skies continues. And welcome to back to Side Side on the Skies. We're going to kick it over to Nathan for your Iowa forecast. Nathan, how's Iowa looking? Oh, we're looking good today, Zach. I like the fact that conditions are going to change. Currently in Ames right now, we do have partly sunny skies. Beautiful conditions. Temperature of 67 degrees right now. We're just a light wind out of southwest at 5 miles an hour. Again, under partly sunny skies. Clouds are starting to increase in, um, through this evening because we are going to bring in a chance of storms overnight. As I mentioned, chance of storms tonight with a low of 53 winds out of the west at 5 to 8 miles an hour. Scattered storms moving in heavily after 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And as for tomorrow, it's going to be quite a rainy day. Temps in the mid-60s with rain and scattered thunderstorms. Again, an isolated stronger storm or two is possible in the afternoon. The main threat would be large hail with that, but that be very few and far between. And then looking at your extended forecast, um, mid-60s tomorrow, cooling down to the mid-50s on Friday. And then the Irvisha weekend, very important weekend here, looking great with sunny conditions. Um, temperatures in the upper 50s Saturday, mid-60s Sunday, and then look at the warm-up on Monday, low 70s, and then conditions will even get warmer as we head through next week, and possibly by the end of the next week and into the weekend, we could be talking temperatures approaching 80 degrees, which is quite remarkable. Yeah, I know there's a possibly a very nice warm-up plan for the next week, yes. and, and maybe uh, with the, I know with warmer temperatures, we can usually see possibly some severe storms. Yes. So, Maybe our ultimate dream will come true and some severe storms will pop up here. You know, I, I know us two went out last weekend and we went storm chasing, so yep. maybe we'll pray for another chance for tornadoes somewhat closer here in central Iowa, but we can only hope. But yeah, It'd be nice to see another chase in before the year ends. Yeah, you know, I know you were we busy last weekend, yeah, so you couldn't go out with us. Go out with you guys. But maybe another chance will pop up and we could all go out together. But That'd be really, really nice. Yeah, I know today was pretty nice with weather and looking at the – extended out like it looks like this weekend for Visha if you're worried about concerts I don't think you have to worry about the chance of rain looks like it's been nice and sunny and dry yeah I know I, really good th compared to the last couple of years a few days ago we were talking about possibly a few chances of rain for your Visha concerts but that has gone away fortunately for all of us that were yes. going to the concerts Thank God. so hopefully ticket sales are up for mm -hmm. concerts now because yeah. it, it especially the temperatures will be a little cooler for Visha there won't be like today today we Hit a high about 71, 72. Yes, it's got 50s on the weekend. Yeah, so it's gonna be, it's gonna feel cooler, but you know, it's gonna be nice. It, I know last year the upper class been talked about how it was rainy and wet last and cool. Yes. And so that that heard. would make it feel very very miserable for most of us. But um, yeah. And for Friday night concerts, it could be a little chilly as we are gonna go down to a low in the mid 30s. But yeah. If you have some a some cold or some fog hands, chance, I think also. Yeah. Well, pa patchy yeah. frost. I, I think there is a chance for patchy frost. Yes. So they'll watch that one and. Uh, see if they'll issue any advisors or anything. I know earlier I was watching the news earlier today, and they were talking about how possibly there is a chance that they'll issue a, a frost advisory due to those cooler temperatures, which we've already seen this, you know, uh, this spring. Which it's sort of weird because you know earlier this spring we were way above average, and so we didn't have to worry about those, and now we're starting to worry about them. So I think you know it, Mother Nature got a little confused, but I mean it's normal. It's spring. It still can get yeah. cooled down. I mean our lows are only. Supposed to be in, I think, the upper 30s to low 40s for our average right now, so it's not a big shock to the system. But yeah, we just went so above average this spring that we're just kind of not used to it compared to yeah. most springs. And we're, we're not used to our new graphics we've been using, but no. I, I know we, we, we're looking forward to a lot of changes here on Size Size on the Skies next year. We we voted our new producers, uh, Sam Schreier and Justin Keller, on Monday, so we'll look forward to that next year. And we'll also be getting a new graphics new machine, graphic machine, which yes. is right now tonight's graphics and Monday night's graphics. We've just been using almost PowerPoint, basically, yeah. so we can at least exactly. get our yeah. last few shows on the air. <laughs> but now we'll actually have a state-of-the-art new graphics machine, which we've been all looking forward to. Oh, Genesis has tried us very well, but she's given us a lot of pain. And but she finally died last week, as we yeah, all know. And she was old. Yeah, <laughs> it was time for her to go. She gave us many good years, though. So yeah, she did her time. She if, if she only held out for another week, that's all we needed her for. But yeah. we're we're looking forward to our new graphics machine next year, and yeah. it's gonna look amazing. I am super excited, and I'm sure everyone that watches the show is gonna be super excited to yeah. see how nice the new graphics. Well, we'll have right. radar, and then we'll have future yeah. cast, we'll and we'll, 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 we'll yeah, we'll get. And I think our show will probably be longer now, but oh, it should be. And yes. we can look more around the country now instead of. A, what yeah. we had before mm -hmm. and hopefully our new producers will bring more <laughs> enthusiasm to our show and <laughs> yeah. maybe bring some new ideas to our show and it's always good to get new people in and 
So hopefully yeah. Sam and Justin do a wonderful job next sure year. They so will. they're wonderful. Guys. Yeah, they are. They do a good job. Yeah, so we'll be looking forward. And I know they're in the back room right now and learning Probably how laughing to. At us, well, so. yeah, they're, laughing. <laughs> I, they're learning how to do everything tonight, and so hopefully they're taking good notes from our former producers, Ethan and Nathan. So they they've done a very well yeah. job this year. So we want to give them applause for getting us through this year, especially with our very old graphics machine. But. Yeah, so we're looking forward to next year. I, I know I am. Uh, yeah, do you, I think we're all very excited. Yeah, and I know on a different note, today's Nate's birthday. <laughs> yeah, so happy birthday yeah, to happy Nate. Birthday. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so Any exciting plans How, for tonight, Nate? Uh, homework, I, homework. <laughs> homework, yeah, yeah, we do have some homework to go, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, I guess that's life. you got to live yeah. with it. <laughs> and how old are you turning? Uh, the big 20 today. Oh. So oh, unfortunately, oh, not, 21 on not, not 21 on Visha. Not 21 on Visha, yeah, no, no, not this year. Next year, it looks like you'll have fun. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Budget cuts, we can't give you a cake. You know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry we can't bring out a cake and be like, happy birthday, Nate. But, yeah, so hopefully we'll look forward to a lot next year. But Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. But for us here at Size Eyes on the Skies, thank you for a wonderful year. And join us next year as we will have a lot to look forward to. But from all of us at Size Eyes on the Skies, have a great rest of the year.